Today we are going to be talking about how basketball can apply to Newton's first three laws of motion. Newton's first law states, An object in motion remains in motion and an object at rest remains at rest unless unbalanced forces act on it and is also referred to as the law of inertia. As you can see here, I am jumping off of the ground and going up for a dunk. If there were no unbalanced forces as I went up for this dunk, I would be floating forever. This is because I am pushing off of the ground as gravity tries to pull me. This creates an unbalanced force and then drops me back to the ground after I release my hands from the rim. The second law essentially states that force equals mass times acceleration. If I threw a 10 pound medicine ball to Keaton, then I would have to apply more force because the mass is greater. If I apply double the force, the object will double its acceleration, which is a direct relationship. But if I applied the same force to both the balls, the acceleration would go up and the mass would go down. But if I did this to the med ball, the acceleration would, would go down because the mass is higher, which is an inverse relationship. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In this video here, you can see me throwing the ball up in the air and bouncing right back into my hands. This is because the action that's happening here is when the ball bounces on the floor because the force of the floor and the ball are the same. It's just the mass and acceleration are different, which is why that action has an equal and opposite reaction.